Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Wayne's Garage. Um, just a quick update video. I uh, just wanted to let you all know that um, I did have a video uh, that I was editing and in the middle of um, editing for the welding in of the door corner on the driver's door. Now, unfortunately, my phone has uh, deleted somewhere along the line um, the end, uh, end footage. Um, so I don't have all of the work done um, and that so bear with me I'm going to be doing a little bit more on it um, and that finishing it up and then smoothing it out so then I'll film that and I'll um, put that bit in as the end of the video but anyway what I've got is today I'll just show you what I've been working on um, and that just to give you a little bit of uh, something to check out what I've been doing so today I've started on another another one of the right hand side. Um, this one's a sedan dog leg. It's going to be so we'll fold, the rest of it will fold down and shrink it to fit. Um, and that so I started on that. There's the blank over there for the left hand side. Also, what I've got to try and finish up uh, early in the morning is this boot floor. Um, so it's a uh, work in progress um, and that this one's actually turning out to me a lot better uh, I've worked out that um, I put in these this section here and that which is the the lip with the corner in um, before putting in the, the curve this way uh, which gets done on here uh, so that will get done in the morning these lines here uh, for the fold lip to go along to go along the chassis rail and that because that gets all trimmed down uh, this lip, lip here folds up underneath one of the panels if not it gets tripped, uh, trimmed down as well so I've just got to trim a little bit more off here and then start folding this line up a bit more and uh, and then put in the curve and that and then it should be uh, ready hopefully by half past eight for the customer um, and that so it means I've got an early five o'clock start in the morning uh, also we got uh, that floor pan done um, for the HR build we uh, I managed to pick up some chrome bits uh, and then we've also got that came in as well um, and that for the ute uh, some of the cream creamy colored oh, hang on. there's the green there so that's the uh, that will be the color of what the interior is going to go uh, which, if you look carefully, is very, very close to the uh, cream colour. A little bit darker than the cream that I painted the door, four panels and the armrests. But um, we will see what we can do. Take some of that down and uh, see if we can get some paint mixed up for that colour. Um, so yeah, so we got them. Uh, thanks, David, mate, for for selling me those bits. Uh, what else did we pick up? Uh, uh, I think that's about it. Um, got to see the gentleman about them. They're sold already. Um, so yeah, so there's a few, few little parts that I picked up too for the uh, for the Ute. Uh, I've got to try and uh, stop using it as a workbench. But as you can all see. Um, this is the reasons why I'm trying to trying to get a larger workshop because uh, that's all the space I've got to work in along there and that little area here um, and then when you look carefully coming over here I do some cutout work on this bench here um, and that that storage bench over there. 
my kind of makeshift workbench there. And then over here I uh, miscellaneous bits and pieces on that part there. Um, and that's basically where I do all my paperwork and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, that pile of street machine magazines, I can't remember if they're my ones or ones for sale. So I will have some more street machines for sale soon. Um, so yeah, so also, while well, I'm thinking of it, yeah, I got a hold of some more rare spares panels. Now these are EH. EH sedan replacement dog legs. Now, as you can see, I have the left one. Um, now, this left one is actually pretty, pretty good. It'd been repaired once before back in the day, and that and uh, really well shaped um, to fit the profile. Um, and that. So I got a hold of this left one a while ago from from Ray. Um, now this was one that he um, he had. Yeah, as you can see, the fitment isn't like, like isn't the best. But that one there was done in. 2015, I think. And then when you come over and I'll oh, grab hold of this one here, and that, ignore the uh, the big rust bubble there, um, and that. But I also picked this one up from Ray, and that. And then you look at that. You look at that. That fitment is nowhere near it. So if you look carefully, you can see that the lip, the lip's not even folded, and, that, and it just it doesn't go anywhere on meeting where it should. So how far that is? So, but yeah. So I just thought I'd show you that. So. Um, and I've been making some tooling up over Christmas, hopefully, to uh, mimic this and this curve here. Because even the curve on this one here is not right. Uh, it's it's deeper curve up here than that. Now, uh, well, it's got rust in here, in this part here, so. I'll have to clean that out and uh, do something about that area. Um, and that, unless I can find another set. But um, but still, thanks John for these. Um, and that they will they will help to uh, produce the tooling and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, so sorry about the camera work, everyone. Uh, so I just wanted to show you why I'm looking for a bigger workshop um, and that um, because once again where those blue tarps are over there that is my uh, my sleeping area so if I had a had a bit big bit bigger of a workshop then uh, I could sleep in one of the offices and that as my room and uh, and all that sort of stuff and then I'd be able to spread out um, a little bit um, on that so yeah so anyway I gotta go um, it's almost seven o'clock I think so I'm finished for the day because uh, I've got an early one in the morning to get that boot floor finished because uh, the customer's turning up between 8.30 and 9 or something like that so anyway Thanks again everyone, don't forget please like, subscribe, help me get to a thousand um, and that what I'm going to do is if we can hit a thousand subscribers 
um, and that I am going to do a, a small little giveaway. Uh, I know a lot of the other channels are giving away cars and so forth like that. Well, I don't have the, the dollars to be able to do that. But what I can do is I can do a t-shirt and a stubby cooler um, with one of my stickers as well. So, um, yeah, so don't forget, if you want to go in the entry for it, um, just comment down below. And each comment that is in this video um, and that, I will write down on a notepad and go through it the old fashioned way and I will do a video um, drawing it out of a hat and I'll get a mate of mine to draw it out of a hat. Um, so yeah, so mm -hmm. don't forget like, subscribe, share and um, yeah, help us get to a thousand because I know that there's like 75% to 65% of people that watch the channel that aren't subscribed. So yeah, please do. Anyway, thanks again. Until next time, stay safe. Cheerio.